One of the channels of my business has to do with dive travel and photo instruction. I teach uh, underwater photo seminars in Key Largo. I do a digital master class. I also do exotic photo tours, maybe three times a year. So I have a, you know, a group of people will go with me somewhere in the world. We'll charter a boat or stay in a resort and uh, we go have fun. When I first came to Key Largo, one of the first things that the, my friends in the dive industry said was, you have to be a part of this organization, Dan. I didn't know what Dan was. Uh, I learned it was the Divers Alert Network and I learned what they did. It was some years later when I learned intimately what they did for a living when I got bent in Vanuatu and had to get evacuated from a far and distant destination. I was sitting in a, a darkened wheelhouse, sucking on oxygen. So I was listening to the captain speak on the radio to a telephone on land calling Durham, North Carolina to get advice about what to do with me being bent in Vanuatu. Dan arranged for Qantas to drop an O2 bib from a 747 so that I could breathe oxygen on a commercial flight all the way back to Honolulu where I had my treatment. You know, I've often thought, what would the dive industry be if there weren't a Dan? For one thing, I think the whole uh, destination dive business would be far different. I don't think people would be going to the remote places in the world that we go today. We need a network, we need an organization, we need knowledgeable people at the other end who in the rare occasion that we get in trouble have, have the infrastructure to get us out. They can get us treated, they can give us advice, they can interface with our boats, our dive operators, and they can safely get us back to our lives. I'm Stephen Frank, and that's why I choose Dan. <laughs>